Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you my shopping. <laughs> uh, I had a chance to watch uh, YouTube channel. Uh, that YouTube channel, it's Marley Design and uh, I would like you to ask to go to have a look on this amazing artist. I watched, uh, I received the link for her channel and when I clicked on that link, I couldn't stop to watch her videos because Marley, I hope I'm saying her name right, Marley is so amazingly talented artist, especially her uh, work with stamps and with this one. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, buying Brayer for a few months, <laughs> but I was in that mood, I don't need it, you know. I don't actually know how I will use it, but when I watched her channel, here it is and <laughs> this is my first page I have created. I started with this uh, 12 by 12 sheet with the very kind of too much too much colored and I wanted to change it to kind of kind of like shabby chic for my next move. Uh, I will have here just a very short speed it up that come through what I did. It will be nothing like a tutorial. It's just sharing my first sharing with this thingy. <laughs> it's so amazing. I do love so much how it puts those layers uh, of my painting. It, it looks like, you know, old, uh, old wall with paintings which are kind of like getting distressed. And it's so awesome, really. N not my work. I don't mean no, <laughs> not my work with this. I'm learning. <laughs> But uh, Marley's work with uh, stamps and with this tool, it's so awesome. I will put link down below. Please go to have a look. Really, go to have a look. You will have an amazing chance to learn so much from her. So I'm going to put here that fast forward to this uh, just a little bit. And then I will continue with this and uh, I will create something from my 12 by 12 sheet. And I hope you will enjoy. Uh, you will join me with this and you will enjoy it. So I do have this one done, it's dry everything and uh, I'm gonna start to score that 12 by 12 sheet and then cut and put together something, some small folder. I hope uh, you will like that result. So first uh, what I'm gonna score it's 7 inches and here I have to be very careful because there are, are layers of painting and I don't want to ruin it. So I need to go very carefully. Seven inches. Then I'm going to flip it this way. And I'm going to start to score half inch. All the way down there. And again, I have to be careful because there is so many layers of the painting. <laughs> mm. 
Next score line is 4 inches. And next score line is seven and a half. I'm gonna fold all these to make sure you will see all these score lines. And I'm going to distress it a little bit just to make sure you will see where I am cutting. So my sheet looks like this. Here is those 7 inches. This is that rest. Half inch, 4, 7 and half. All the way down there. First what I will cut, it will be this piece down here. I'm going to cut it off totally this one and I'm gonna because with scissors I'm not straight I never was I'm not sure why I'm always making waves so I'm gonna use my knife ruler and I'm gonna cut this piece off like this then next cutting will be this line here like this here <clears throat> I'm gonna cut these corners here and on that longer piece as well here uh, next step I'm gonna cut in this piece and in this piece, I'm going to cut a uh, three quarter of inch frame. So what I will do, I'm going to take a pencil, <coughs> pardon me, a ruler, and I'm going to draw, I'm going to do it from opposite side. So from opposite side, from inside of those pieces, this piece here. And this piece here, this which is which is uh, solid with this large piece. So here and here, I'm gonna make a frames. So I'm gonna show you on that small piece from the side, three quarter of inch frame. I'm gonna make marks for myself. I'm gonna draw the frame and then I will cut it. Here, same from opposite side. Then, because I've got here so many book pages, I'm gonna fold it this way so I can see the edge of my of my uh, of that side uh, of the <laughs> of that piece. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so here. And from the end. In centimeters, I'm making two centimeters frame, which is nearly three quarter of inch. 
close to three quarter of inch. So I do have drawn inside. I'm gonna take my red pen and show you. Here I do have. Oh, if my red pen will dry, will will <laughs> draw something. Here I do have frame, which I will cut off. Oh, stay. So here I do have frame, which I will cut off this uh, rectangle. And same I will do here. I'm not counting that fold. But here I will do exactly same. Three quarter of inch frame. And I'm going to cut that rectangle off. Like this. Uh, now I'm going to take circle punch. And I'm going to punch... Kind of like entry here, just half of that circle, and I'm measuring this one, you know, to place it in the middle and just cut. Same I'm gonna do here, just a small bit, it doesn't have to be big entry like this. And I'm gonna also cut. Uh, kind of like slots here in this piece right next to that big window so I'm gonna take again pencil gonna take that red one <laughs> it's more visible and I'm gonna make marks This one I'm gonna make in inches, I guess. So from the top, first slot will be, I think, one and a half inch. One and a half inch. And I'm gonna make a mark. The next one will be three inches from the top, three inches. And the next one, where is the end of my pocket? I need to see that this way, so I know that it's long like this. So first will be one and a half, three and four and a half. That rest I'm gonna keep. One and a half three and four and a half and also uh, I know I don't want to have uh, slots from the side to the side of this uh, of this uh, piece so I'm gonna make I think half inch, three eighths of inch, the line here, and three eighths of inch, the line from the opposite side, three eighths of inch, the line here, and I'm gonna cut between those two lines, not too big, uh, not too big entry. So three eighths. Oh, this one it's half inch that fold and yeah okay so half inch <laughs> half inch it will be to make sure I can fit that this half inch and half inch and half inch Or maybe here I can make it smaller. One quarter of inch and that side I will decorate somehow. One quarter of inch and one quarter of inch. <clears throat> 
and between those two lines I'm gonna cut these slots so I'm gonna take a knife ruler and between this line and this line I'm gonna cut this slot like this so I do have three slots cut here I'm gonna take again that um, circle punch <laughs> I'm gonna slide it in I can do it from here hopefully yeah I can and I'm gonna punch A small spot and maybe I can make for myself the mark to make sure they all will be at the same position middle and middle so I made small marks for myself to make sure I know where to punch so now I can see that easily and I'm gonna punch and slide that the another one and I'm gonna punch and the last one I'm gonna punch so I've got three slots here I have distressed all these, uh, both those frames and these entries a little bit with that uh, black ink. And I do have here three strips of book page. It's the same book page like I used from the uh, opposite side. Uh, they are two and three eighths of inch wide and six inches long. Two of them I've got with, uh, in the middle I cut this uh, notch similar with this one. So what I'm going to do... I'm gonna slide it in I'm gonna use here uhu glue because I've got their paint and I'm not sure how how tacky glue will with will work with painting I'm gonna put a glue here on that piece and make a nice position a little bit under that cut I'm gonna take another one again slide it in and do exactly same and same with that last one slide it in put a glue here it on my piece I guess this way I'm gonna flip it over fold this and I'm gonna put a glue here on the bottom of this piece and glue it down here I'm gonna take a ruler place a, a ruler with the edge of that folder and cut those two book pages and I'm gonna glue them both on the bottom of this here and here like 
like this. Now I'm gonna cut acetate pieces for these windows. So I do have here two pieces, one piece for here, uh, for this window, one piece for this window, three inches wide, both of them. This is four and three quarter, this is uh, six and uh, one quarter. Before I will add them uh, to those windows, I'm gonna take this small window. I'm gonna fix the small circle here, right under this entry. I'm gonna try to place it on that frame, I guess somewhere here. That should be middle. So I'm gonna fix this circle here, like this, and now I'm gonna take those acetate pieces and glue them on the right spot. one here and I will try because I'm using a uh, double-sided tape for acetate pieces it's I think the best thing and I'm trying to put that double-sided tape over that edge of that brat I used for fixing the circle that's one and I'm gonna place that the other one that bigger piece on that other window and again I'm gonna glue it inside like this and make sure it's glued properly this so we do have both acetate pieces before I will glue all these pockets together I'm gonna take this large piece uh, I cut off from this corner uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this is I think those three and a half if I'm not mistaken yes three and a half here is pocket so I'm gonna cut three and three eighths of inch strip like this gonna take my booklet fold this fold this and I'm gonna measure how far I would like to fold it so I think I'm gonna make some kind of visible something <laughs> visible something so as you saw I fold it by eye this will be flap here So I'm gonna take those two corners, I'm gonna fold them together like this, I'm gonna take my scissors and with my scissors I'm gonna cut the corners, make them look like a flap from envelope. This opposite side, I think I will love to have there some embossing. So I'm gonna have a look what kind of embossing folders I've got here. Something decorative. So I have used these beautiful folders from Sizzix, this postcard folder. And I embossed it a little bit and also used black ink. To put there a little bit of shade and this is number 657666 but it's very old collection of embossing folders this is from 2011 
so I'm not sure if they are still uh, on the market maybe sometimes uh, you can find it on on eBay from craft room uh, sale that's where I found it and I'm gonna glue it inside so I'm gonna take a glue put a glue here on the bottom of my piece I'm gonna place it here and make sure I've got the right position. Like this. With the envelope punch board, I'm going to punch the corners of on that flap. And because I do have here that envelope punch board, I'm going to also use that envelope punch board on this last piece from my folder, this one. I'm gonna take that folder and place it with the bottom corner and you will fold it all together. This will be bottom. So here I'm gonna punch. If my puncher will punch it, but because there are those paintings, it's sometimes struggle. We all do sometimes. And I'm going to punch three and a half. Put. And cut the dress. And with envelope punch board, I'm gonna cut this corner as well. Now I can take that flap. I think first I'm gonna glued all these pockets so first I'm gonna take my glue put glue because here it's the paint again so I'm gonna use that Uhu glue to make sure it will get glued here on that flap and also here on the bottom and fold it down and let it dry. Before I will glue this pocket, I'm gonna take my knife and ruler. And from here, I'm gonna cut off about um, one eighth of inch, just small strip. To make sure I can fold it over without making bulks here so about one eighth of inch yeah and it will sit nicely so from here from the bottom of that uh, smaller pocket and I'm gonna do same I'm gonna put glue here on this fold And on the bottom and glue it fold it over now I can fold the flap 
I'm gonna take another circle and I'm gonna make a position of that second circle I think somewhere here it will be okay and fix that circle with a brush and I'm nearly done e not yet <laughs> Those brats are too small. Here and here. I'm gonna lift up a little bit that circle because sometimes I do have a problem to put the, the, the thread or string. And now it's time to close it all. So I've got here a string. I'm gonna wrap it here because I use that brat so this way it's the most easy way how to do this beautiful closure or maybe it's not most easy way as I can see now <laughs> come on make a knot hey oh okay got it and I'm gonna cut that shorter side. So I do have a closure. It's too long. Somewhere here it will be okay. And I'm gonna fold it over and make sure that there is lots of space. And I think I just moved my flap. So I need to glue that flap again because I just terribly move it and it's not straight. So I'm gonna. <laughs> Repair this one a little bit to make it straight <laughs> and I will come back and this is how it can looks like decorated uh, I add there here and there a few tacks, ticket, stamping, uh, washi tapes here on the front I glued this extra page so it can be open just small decoration here we've got these uh, three pockets Uh, I used, I created this one, <laughs> it's just frame, which I decorated from this side and their cardstock, which I glued here in that spot and then put two eyelets so it can be like um, sliding decoration like this. And I made few small layout here and here. It looks like this. Where is it? When you open it, we've got that pocket. I put there just this simple tuck again. Here, this leftover and tuck. I need to make some long tucks. And just small decoration here. Again, opening, writing spot. So, this is my first attempt to. Uh, brayer i hope i'm saying that right brayer uh, tool i love that that you know that layering of that paint it's so amazing it makes beautiful layer, layers uh, i used acrylic paints uh, for this sheet you saw that in that short video and i love that feeling next time i want to try you know i'm gonna try it for myself first uh, how it works with distress inks and uh, stuff like that uh, any kind of paint i've got here <laughs> because i need to know but i really love these look at that it's beautiful it's so gorgeous and that feeling of that paint it's really amazing so this is my creation using brayer totally totally inspired by uh, Marley design channel. I'm gonna put the link down below uh, if you are interested to see amazing artist and uh, to learn maybe or to be inspired totally 
<laughs> by her work. So go to have a look, please. Thank you so much for watching, uh, for visiting me today, for spending your time with me today. I hope you did enjoy it. Have a beautiful time. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.